Welcome back, everyone. Help a fellow traveler here. Eat my dust for great justice. Huh? Maybe not. I died. I fought through a dozen of those animals to reach safety. Lost so much blood, I fainted just past the gate. The sword that I'm wielding is a. Um, it's crafted in the same uh, fashion as Prince Rurik's sword. His is called Sohoen and when he died, we do not know what happened to May his sword. Our strength in you. I saw him die in the mountains, in the Shiver Peak Mountains, trying to help his fellow Ascalonians get to a safe place to settle. Um, but we, I do not know what became of his sword. Now the sword that I have is a fiery dragon sword. His was crafted in ore, and it contains special powers. Mine is just a fiery dragon sword. It does not have any magical powers. Um, hello, Seraph. Balthasar's hounds. The centaurs are merciless when they aren't driving us off our lands. They're murdering our friends and family and they just don't stop coming. Let's change that. Tell me what I can do. Top of the list, kill any centaur you see. After that, help our soldiers in the field. Smash the centaur equipment and protect the garrison. That sh should do it. Okay. That's the kind of work I like to do. Um, do we have what happened that? to those burned out farms? That and was a um, bad one. Centaur horde pushed north, burning everything in its path. Did you see action? Let's give a worst day of my life. Cherry pie it cost me my best friend. And nearly also, both let's legs. get Peritas out. There he is. Let's go, Peritas. Go kill us some centaurs. Anyways, what I was saying about the sword is, as a warrior, I have the uh, ability to wield many weapons, and so one of the things I am going to be doing soon is getting some other kinds of weapons so that I can um, get some practice become better at using multiple weapons. I will need that. For great justice. So no offense to Rurik. This reminds me of him and that's great and I will keep the sword. But uh, I also need to be looking at other swords and just other types of weapons I can use. A bow, I can use uh, hammers. down soldier here as soon as I kill this center I will be helping me out. Right, no need to fear soldier. Like it was well loved by his last owner. He lost trinkets. Somebody died there. Without killed by the centaurs. I 
Te cargamos de este en camino de mí. Destroy the supply cut. Centers don't give up, but neither do we. Your assistance at the garrison was appreciated. You're welcome here anytime, Seraph Deidre. You're welcome, Seraph Deidre. To me! Interesting post. They're going out here. Some seraph guards right there. They come in peace. Smith. Hi there. How you doing, Bolin? Some chain armor. Um, I believe I need some armor, however, as it is one of the crafting professions that I mastered, I uh, probably will craft my own. My trading post has been running smoothly thanks to your help. How can I repay you? Your things is good enough. Jacqueline from the trading post is here. Jacqueline, uh, Jan a merchant. Uh, don't need anything from you, thank you. Hello, Gregor. Uh, might need some I weapons here. I was just mentioning place. how I would like to have some new weapons. So I'm gonna get an axe, a longbow, a great sword, a hammer. Mace and shield. Alright. So let's uh, equip some of this. Long over there. Okay. Um, the shield and an axe. Let's go with that. Hello, soldier. Looks like there's some uh, soldiers in trouble over here, so we'll help them out. For right, great as soon justice. as I will kill these wolves. Don't worry, Peritas, we got this. thing I'd like to do is um, 
get a skill here. Um, we have battle standard peace. Place a battle standard that revives fouling allies and grants fury, might, and swiftness to allies. Signal of rage grants adrenaline, grain fury, might, and swiftness. Reaper of Granth, become a Reaper of Granth, chilling and poisoning nearby foes. Avatar of Melandru, transform into an Avatar of Melandru. Stability, and that's it. Misfire Wolf, summon a Misfire Wolf to fight at your side. I'm gonna go with Signet of Rage. So that's how it's done. And let's do that. Greeting soldier. Beautiful landscape over here. All right, Corporal Sable. You've been up the watchtower yet? You can see anything from up there, all the way down into the hardwoods. Can you tell me about this place? Sure can. We have the distinguished honor of protecting this bridge from centaurs. It's the lifeline of Claypool and keeps traffic flowing from the trading post. Very important. What can you tell me about Claypool? Claypool's a real sweet little town. They have all sorts of interesting folks, great honey, and the cutest pigs you ever saw. You know, tell me about the trading post. You can get anything there. Lexi Price runs the show, keeping the wheels greased and the goods flowing. She gives soldiers discounts for helping with the roads. Thanks for the information, Corporal. And I'm going to climb this tower and see what he was talking about. What can we see from here? Oh, look at that. Nice view. Yes, indeed. I'm going to follow the road into Claypool and see if maybe I can craft myself some armor there. So let's follow this road. Oh, Seraph. in trouble but it looks like they're okay now someone else helped them hello soldier that's a soldier protecting the road that's great okay looks like we're uh, entering the village Township of Claypool discovered. And repairs armor, but I will not be needing her assistance. Oh, let's go talk to the mayor here. Crafting crier.
Evening, Lord Mayor Jolin. Hello, I am Lord Mayor Jolin, and this is Claypool. What may I do for you, citizen? It's the title of Lord Mayor reserved for major cities, like Divinity's Reach. What? Nonsense. Claypool may not be a major city in terms of size, population, or economy. But we have heart. Oh, and the finest smith's interior. Tell me about these smiths. Ah, the heart of Claypool is her forge. Just behind me, yes. The smiths keep both coin and traffic flowing into our township. Speak with the with Gabrielle over there to learn more about that. Thanks, so what's going on around the town? Well, there's certainly no shortage of bandits causing trouble to the north. Grant knows I hear about them often enough from Curtis. Anything else? North. There's harpies harassing people and livestock. And centers to the northeast. They usually don't harass us here. But we won't complain if you think their numbers a bit. If you thin their numbers a bit. I'll check into those problems. Mayor? Been you goodbye. The craft fair is a good place for a family gathering. Oh, so yes. let's see what uh, Forge so is talking about over here. He mentioned behind him there was a forge. I'm renewed. Um what I see for now is Mela the merchant Greetings uh, I don't have anything to sell I don't think Well maybe it did Ale of keg What do you need to know? Hi there. Welcome to Claypool. Might I interest sure. you in a bit of Claypool it's history? Yes, Maybe please. Claypool was born out of Princess Alma's victory during the war in Crida. I remember that war. With the aid of the Seraph, people were able to settle the Talmark wilderness. I see. I do remember them camping in the wilderness. Why did they choose to settle her here specifically. There used to be a secret river passage that ran through here. One of the Seraph's first missions was to secure the route so that it could not be used by smugglers. We're safe from How did that city. help Clayton? In two Protection ways. First, enough. the Seraph presence war. attracted those looking for a safe place no to settle. Cost. And we second, it allowed them. trade to flow Why not? unimpeded. What sort of trade went on back then? Smithing was the big one, both then and now, though back then it was commonplace to trade armor and weapons Safe for other off. items instead of money. How did Claypool grow after it was settled? The forges and smiths of Claypool were far superior to anything else in the region at the time, and brought many people looking for quality weapons, tools, and armor. What's happened since then? The smith is still at the heart of the village, of course, but with the relative peace around us now, we subsist as much on farming and fishing as we do smithing. Thank you for your time, Mary. That was very informative. Alright. You keep talking about how this is a great smithing place. Uh, curious to see where the forge might be because I could use it. I could use it. Joanne's and running over there. I wonder what she's Your running off to. Nope. Mine was last night. Right. Got enough wood. Of 
Paul Thompson. See what you've got to say, sir. Hi there. Call Thompson, hunter. What do you say? A hunter, eh? What do you hunt? Wolves, bears, trolls, bandits, you name it, I'll hunt it. Bandits. So you're a bounty hunter, too. Not quite. I don't hunt bandits for the bounty on their heads. I hunt them for the challenge. Hunting a man is exhilarating. Do you ever think about the ethics of hunting intelligent beings? No, I've never been able to navel gaze. I don't intend to start now. I think it best if you leave now. Of course, we don't see eye to eye. Alright, well. It's nice talking to you. See the we've got walls up here to protect. The soldiers guarding those walls. Okay, so we have a chef and an artificer here. A jeweler. All crafts that I know. However, I'm interested in um, armor. That's how you block an attack. Okay. Taylor. Here we are, Jocelyn the Armor Smith. Hello, Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. Very nice armor we've got here, but uh, again, I would uh, like to use your forge. Hello, Gabriel Smith. Oh, hi, you're Alexander Pierre, aren't you? I've been hearing about your exploits. What brings you to Claypool? Uh, are you a blacksmith? I am. My family have been smiths for four generations now. We supply everything from simple farm tools to sturdy weapons and armor. Do you sell your weapons and armor here? Absolutely. Just track down one of our merchants here in the city. Chances are, if you pick up a weapon in Divinity's Reach, it came from our forge. I see. Thanks. I just might track down one of your merchants. Anything going on here? It's typically pretty quiet. The outlying areas sometimes get harassed by bandits, but within the walls, things are safe. Are the bandits a big problem then? Not for me, they aren't, since we provide a fair amount of weapons and armor to the locals and the Seraph, they help us stay in business. So then you profit from the conflict, does that bother you? Hmm, never really think much about it, we provide a service, what our customers do with their product is on their conscience, not mine. I see, well thanks for the chat. Welcome. Cathila Master Weaponsmith. Um, Kalak Master Armorsmith. Only the strongest and toughest materials to wrap your life in. Well, here is the forge finally, so see what we can do so, talk back to the master I carry here. only the highest quality goods. supplies good I'm glad that you do um, Like some honed intricate cotton insignia. And let's go 
go ahead and learn that. Very good. Now, Haunt. Intricate Cotton Insignia. Power and Critical Damage. Craft six of those. Refinement steel ingots. Okay, I need lump of coal. Need supplies. Sir. Lump of coal. Okay. How do you do? Doing good, but I'm crafting here. Um, 17 ingots. So we'll craft all 17 of those. Yeah, now we're gonna craft. I need to craft. Um, Maybe one day I'll move to Divinity's Ridge. I don't mind visiting, but it's much too crowded for my taste. Boot casing, lining. Safe from harm. I'm not sure. Chest padding. Chest plate. Lining, gauntlet plates, helmet casing, gauntlet lining, leg and lining, leg and panel, cauldron casing, and I will need cotton thread for the last item, so cotton thread. Okay, now let's craft the boots. One lady, it's very good. <coughs> craft the chest piece. You can never have too much treasure. That looks valuable. Grab the helmet, leg plates, and shoulder. Okay, well, let's test out this armor here, see what we look like. Yes. Yes, yes. Ready for more. Okay. <laughs> well, don't we look stunning? We're safe from centaurs here. The garrison protects us. Protection isn't enough. We're at war. Very good. We, win, no matter the we can't exterminate them. Why not? Crafted ourselves some armor. Going to equip a great sword. Fire. And there's definitely some more things to do around this town. But uh, we'll leave it here for now. And uh, next time when we come back, we'll, I'll talk to Innkeeper Milia. Thank you for watching, everyone.